Hi and welcome to 3D Print Tech Design. Today we are building a ugly but functional 3D printer monitoring system. With this system we will be able to monitor, uh, start prints, stop prints and have visual feedbacks when we are 3D printing in the other room. Alright, in my new house I have a few 3D printers down in the, uh, in the office downstairs and I'm planning to expand that and uh, yeah, when I'm sitting up here in my studio like workspace I usually don't hear or have any feedback if the printers are like doing anything wrong. So I want to be able to set up something that I can monitor the printer and even when I'm leaving the home. So in my dream world I will have some sort of system where we can zoom in on prints, we can get feedback from the printers like uh, temperatures and speeds and, and be able to adjust that kind of stuff. But for now we're going to uh, set the expectations a bit low. So to do all this we will be using a Raspberry Pi. This is a small computer, uh, it has support for like USB so you can connect this directly to your 3D printer. It has network and built-in Wi-Fi. It also supports this camera. So this is a Raspberry Pi camera. You can kind of plug it in and that will give you a camera feed. Now uh, you can of course use like a webcam as well. But this all runs something called Octoprint which is a it's like an operating system that runs on this board and um, yeah it's kind of simple to install. You basically take the memory card and you flash that and I'm not going to explain exactly how we set all of this up because you can find really good guides um, via the Octoprint community. Basically, if you have a webcam laying around, you have Wi-Fi in your house, you can buy one of these for like 30 bucks or maybe even less. And then you can plug in your webcam and your 3D printers uh, via the USB and then you can control and monitor those printers. So just want to make sure that everything works. So I have powered it up, I have uh, connected it to the web interface, I can see the I can see the uh, Raspberry Pi with running Octoprint and everything seems to be working. Now, my issue is that I kind of want to be able to orientate this camera a little bit and although there are really nice uh, covers and protective like uh, computer cases for this mini computer, I kind of want to design my own. I'm not sure it's going to look pretty, but I want to do it. So here's just this fast build montage. I'm thinking some sort of uh, articulating arm so you can adjust where the camera is in position to the to the Raspberry Pi. I also want to mount it on my camera tripods which means that I have to have some sort of adapter for the Manfrotto 200 PLL or whatever it is. So I'll just make this fast design as you can see it looks eh, it's, it's a bit weird but it should work. So let us get that printed and get this mounted up and then we can connect to actually a 3D printer and see what kind of cool things we can do with this. Okay, so here we have the design. It's not super pretty, but it should work. Uh, at least we're gonna try it out first and then see whatever features we can add. So uh, we need to see, plug in the cable for the camera in this little hole here, something like that. And then we can mount the board. Ah, oh, yes, it's on this way. So when we've done that, we need to plug in the cable for the camera. We can then push in the board. We did design like pretty tight tolerances, but uh, oh, there we go. It clicks right in. Nice. And then we are gonna try to make this really ugly <laughs> looking design 
and see if we can get the camera in like that. So there we have it. So this supports on the camera. Oh, it's a little bit wiggly, but uh, yeah. <laughs> So let's go down, plug it into the printers and let's check out and see if we can do some cool stuff with it. All right, so with all that plugged in, we can go ahead and enter our IP address for the Octoprint. And you can see this is basically the interface. Now I might have some few extra things here because I've been printing and using it a little bit. But basically you have connection up here where you connect to your 3D printer. You can put on some um, profiles here. I'm gonna connect it to the Jaguara. By the way, you have to make a custom firmware to connect to this particular printer, but let's not care more about that. Um, yeah, you can start prints here by selecting a print and, and uh, for example, this one here. And yeah, you can do all that kind of stuff. Um, we can also install the plugins and we're gonna check in with that a little bit later because yeah, there are some from the beginning, but there are also some a little bit cool ones that's called, for example, Octolapse, which will make cool time lapses. But yeah, we can't see anything right here. So what we'll do is we'll move over to control. And here you can see this is a live camera feed of uh, the Raspberry Pi camera, which is pretty neat. Well, there's nothing happening right now, but uh, we can change that. We can also look at G codes. We can check the terminal and uh, here you can put up some time lapses, and especially in Octolapse, you can do some cool stuff. Uh, we'll check that later. But to be able to control the machine, you have to connect to it. So I have my profile set up. I'm gonna select auto on all the ports, click connect and it should work. So if we, for example, move the build plate now, oh, you can see the extruder is moving. If we press home, we will home all the axes. I guess that's a pretty good thing to do. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> you can turn on the motors and do all that. This easy service, a plugin that we'll check out later. Um, but yeah, for example, see so if I want to print something, I can take this uh, the 3D Benchy, I can click print. And it will, uh, if we go here to uh, temperatures, it's 20 degrees in there right now. Um, we can do a terminal, we could send some stuff here, but I don't think that's interesting. But uh, what we can do is we can actually start the print. You can see now that the, uh, the, the actual bed is 22 degrees, target bed is, it says off, but it should be uh, 60 degrees. Yeah, there it is, 60 degrees, so it's trying to get up to that. And then it will do everything here. We can also look at the G-Code viewer. Um, right now I have it to be synced with everything, but you can kind of check out all the different layers and look how it's supposed to be. But as you can see here in these streams, you can actually watch it while it's printing. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's make a print and see how that looks. So this is a print running. You can see the temps have been going for a while. If we click on control, we can actually see the machine working and we could change feed rate, flow rate and do can all, all kinds of stuff we want to. You can also see the time left. And here in the G-Code viewer, you can actually see a live sync of the files. And um, yeah, this is probably what I'll be doing with the camera and the live feed. So let's check out some other things we can do. What I really want to do with the Raspberry Pi is also to get this plugin Octolapse. It's a plugin where you can do really cool time lapses where the machine actually moves the bed to a location. So, for example, in this video, it appears that the printer head is over here and the, the 3D print is just magically um, <laughs> being built, which I think is super cool. So what I did was that I installed this plugin, uh, Octolapse, and basically you set that up with your printer. There's a lot of fine tuning to do, but basically uh, it, it worked as intended and it might look a little bit weird with this, um, uh, with this wide angle, but it still looks really good. The only problem is that if you don't fine tune it, you will get a lot of these stringings, but have a look at these ones. So 
so yeah, there's a ton of things to do here. I guess with a better camera, uh, these octolapses will be even better. And I think that maybe we should try plugging in a web camera to see the difference between the built-in Raspberry Pi camera and the other one. So I'm just gonna swap the cameras and we'll have a look at that. And so here you can see the difference with the web camera. It's much more zoomed in and in this case more noisy. But yeah, I think I'll be uh, switching to a web camera later or even a DSLR. Yeah, those are the main features of Octolabs. You can expand this into infinity, but uh, for now this works for my kind of monitoring solution. I can start print, stop them, uh, check them out and yeah. Although I mentioned this easy servo, so um, let's check that out what that's all about as well. Alright, so that's all and cool, but if we want to take it one step further, we need to have some sort of control over the camera, because it's a big room and I want to be able to zoom in on things. And the easiest way to do that is to have a webcam that has a little bit closer field of view. So even if the Raspberry Pi camera is good for one printer, when you have several printers to kind of look at, I think we should do something about that. But iFrostis has made this plugin, so where you attach two servos, so like radio controlled servos, you can attach those in a gimbal orientation, so you can move X and, and Y, or at least two axes. I tried it out, it's a bit janky solution, <laughs> hopefully it works, but the goal here is that if you add a plugin as well, uh, that is called server control, you can actually orientate the camera, so let's check that out. So. If I power this up, you can see that the uh, servos are going to uh, home themselves as soon as everything is set up. And the goal here is that even though my <laughs> fancy case or <clears throat> weird looking case uh, isn't really made for web camera yet, it's fairly simple to just uh, change that. And even though I might not do it in, in this video, the goal is then to of course have servos and maybe even a web camera with zoom or even a DSLR with zoom. Uh, that you can control as well but all that later on for now i just want to make sure that you see how this all works so you can see now it's homing <laughs> and it is <clears throat> a little bit weird things are not glued on the cables are a bit stiff so uh yeah it's uh <laughs> it's not perfect if we connect to a virtual printer you have to have a printer connected we can then go to control and we can actually move this server around moving it up and down and orientating the camera here. <laughs> Again, it should be a little bit better here. Um, I should have glued it down. As you can see, I've just been using tape for now. So yeah, you can see we can move everything around and uh, that's pretty cool. And then you can, of course, click on home and it will move to your home position. So this is probably where, where I'll be going with this design, but for now, this works as intended. So you can move it around and orientate it. As you can see from the results, it's, it's decent, but I would probably change it up for the web camera, as you can see. So yeah, um, this video is probably not gonna go further than this. Um, maybe in a live stream or so in the coming time, I'll, I'll continue working on this design, making it adapter for the gimbal, maybe make a stronger gimbal solution. But yeah, if you're curious on how you do this kind of stuff, I guess I can make a video about that. All you need to install Octopi and, and set up your own uh, Raspberry Pi with Octopi all of that information you can find on the forums and it's quite easy actually. It's When you start to do this kind of stuff you can see there's a lot of cables and some troubleshooting and some grounding wires from all over the places to make it work. But I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> so thanks for nerding along with me today and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, ring that bell so you get a notification when there's a new video. And uh, yeah thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye!